In this uh, video, we will be discussing ABO incompatibility. In the previous sections, we have seen the various types of blood groups in ABO system, that is blood group A, B, AB and O. And we also understood the reason why these blood groups have been uh, given these different terms. The, the reason is that they have antigen. And in the plasma, there is another type of antibody and this is our natural defense. Now when we say A, B, O, incompatibility. So what exactly are we talking about? Compatibility word means when two things can work together, go along. Incompatibility, that means if two things are together, there would be some kind of complication or some kind of reaction. And here, the incompatibility is related with the blood groups. Now, there are two situations where this incompatibility takes place. Number one is transfusion. When one person receives a blood of slightly different type or even of uh, the universal donor, then what kind of complications occur? They would come under incompatibility. So during transfusions, and the second situation when there uh, is this ABO incompatibility is, when the maternal or mother's blood mixes with the fetal blood. So this is during mixing of mother's blood with the fetal blood. So these are the two situations where we would see this kind of a situation. We'll discuss both these situations. First one is the transfusion related. So when we are talking about situation one, we have uh, already talked about that if one per kind of blood group person is a donor and the other kind of blood group person is a recipient. We will take one situation similarly to understand what would happen in such kind of transfusion. So we are discussing the situation during transfusions. Suppose the donor has blood group B and the rest, this situation is not going to happen because before the blood transfusions, the blood groups are to be matched. But we are seeing that if they don't match or if it, the matching is not properly done, then what kind of complications can occur? So donor is blood group B and say recipient is blood group O. Actually, it should have been the reverse because O negative is considered as the universal donor. But suppose we take this situation. Then what is happening is in the body of the recipient, the RBCs which are there, this is the blood group that we are talking of. Blood group is O and here the blood group is B. The RBCs of the recipient's body are without any, any antigen. So there is no antigen. Antigens are of two types, A antigen and B antigen. So the blood group is O, that means there is no antigen or no that specific antigenic protein which is present on the RBC. And in the plasma are present antibodies A and B both. The reason is what we have already talked of that if a person has antigen A, then that antigen or that protein is identified by the immune system as self. If any other antigen comes, that would be identified as a non-self protein. And our body has a natural defense to fight against it. And that is why there is this antibody against that foreign particle already ready. So in this situation, there is no antigen on the RBC. That means antigen A 
as well as antigen B would be foreign particles for this particular individual. So immune system as soon as they enter would identify them as non-self and these antibodies would destroy. Now what is coming into the body of this recipient from the donor? The donor has blood group B. That means on the RBC of this person, there is an antigen B. And when we use the word transfusion, we are talking about the whole blood which is getting transfused. Nowadays, with latest advancement, we are able to separate all components of blood. That means plasma can only be given separately, RBCs separately, platelets separately. So we can se separate them. But here we are talking of the whole blood being given. That means along with RBC, there is plasma also. And if this individual has antigen B, antigen A would be foreign for this or non-self for this. So against that foreign antigen, it would prepare antibody A. Now when this comes in, there is an RBC coming in with an antigen on it. And this antigen is B. The body of the recipient already has this antibody. So there would be a reaction between antibody B and antigen B. Secondly, what else is coming in the plasma? Plasma is bringing anti A. So here there is no problem because this is like its own antibody. So there is a reaction between antigen B and antibody B. Antigen B is coming from the donor and antibody B is from the recipient. So this reaction would result in destruction of these RBCs. So as a result of this reaction, RBCs get destroyed. And when RBCs are destroyed, we know pigments like bilirubin and biliverdin are formed. So there is increased production of bilirubin and biliverdin. Now when bilirubin and biliverdin increase, these are yellow colored pigment, they get deposited under the skin and the condition is known as jaundice. So here, the person after this kind of uh, transfusion would suffer, would suffer from jaundice and anemia. Anemia because RBCs are getting destroyed and jaundice because this bilirubin is getting accumulated in the body. That means two types of bloods are not going along together properly. There is some kind of antigen antibody reaction and this happens during transfusion and when transfusions are done as we said their blood groups are properly matched. The best option is if the recipient has blood group O then the blood which should be transfused should be O. So that same thing goes in and there is no complication. But if something goes wrong or some this kind of mixing takes place, then there is complication. We will take one more situation to understand what happens during transfusion, where we would take a reverse situation, where the recipient is having blood group B and the donor is going to be O, because we said that O is going to be the universal donor, O negative. So let us take the second situation. Let us take the next situation where the donor is O and here we are not talking about O positive or negative because we have not discussed RH uh, factor yet. So here let us say this is uh, the O blood group which is the donor's blood group and the recipient's blood group is B. Now what situation is going to occur? So what is in the body of the recipient? The recipient has RBCs and these RBCs have antigen 
B on the surface. So this antigen becomes the self for this individual. So the plasma would have antibodies against the foreign antigen and for this individual the foreign antigen would be A. So it would have in plasma antibodies A. So antigen is B which is on the surface and that's how the blood group is B and as a matter of its self-defense mechanism it has anti-A that means if antigen A comes in it will be able to defend itself. Now what is the situation in the donor's blood? Donors are BC because the blood group is O there is no antigen so RBC is not bringing any antigen. But in the plasma, so plasma has antibody A as well as B. Because there is no antigen, both the antigens are going to be foreign for this particular individual's body. So it has prepared antibody A as well as antibody B. Now when this blood transfusion is given to this recipient, what is coming into the recipient's body is RBCs without any antigen and antibodies A and B. This individual that is the recipient already has antibody A. So A of the recipient's uh, sorry donor's body and A of the recipient's body are same so would not create any problem. But the antibody B of the donor is going to react with antigen B of the recipient. And again, the reaction is going to be the same. RBCs would get destroyed because of destruction of RBC, uh, anemia and jaundice. So same things. RBC, destruction. Leading to anemia and jaundice. So that is why we said it should be the uh, same blood group. But in this case, when we are saying O negative is the universal donor, why we are still considering this as a better option as compared to the other one which we talked of is the antigen coming in from outside creates more problems as compared to antibodies coming in. So here as there is no antigen reaction is going to be milder. So here there is a milder reaction. The reason is there is no antigen coming in and if we put a negative on this then that would become Rh negative. So if the person is Rh negative, that means on the RBC, there is no antigen A, no antigen B and there is not even Rh factor. So there is no foreign antigen going into the body of the recipient. So here we can say there is no antigen going into the recipient's body and that's why the reaction is milder in this case. So O is the better option, best option is same blood group because that would result into absolutely no reaction. The second best is O negative if the same blood group is not available and if some other blood group is given then the complications are going to be even more severe. So this is situation one where ABO incompatibility is seen during transfusions. And here we are talking about the whole blood transfusion where RBCs are also given and plasma is also given. So RBCs are responsible for bringing antigen and plasma is responsible for bringing antibody. The next situation where we see ABO incompatibility is when blood of mother and fetus, they mix during parturition. So in the next segment, we'll talk about the second part of ABO incompatibility.